Do not take it personal when the people around you do not support what you are doing. Because what God is doing in your life is only going to be a joint effort of you and God. You don't need the people, the money, and everything that you think that you need. All you need is God. He will orchestrate and put together the plan. All you got to do is follow. I'm going to show you something in Mark 6 that I read the other morning. And I'm going to show you just how much you have in common with Jesus. Because a lot of times we feel sorry for ourselves because we don't have the support that we believe that we should have. But you don't need it. Even with Jesus, when he went back to his hometown, some people was amazed by his teachings. And they said, where do you get all this wisdom from? And the other people did not even believe. So Jesus could not even perform miracles. Think about the people who go back into their community trying to do good work and can't even perform because the people don't believe or the people don't want to see them prosper. The word of God says in Mark 6, I want you to go and read it for yourself. It says a prophet is honored everywhere except for his own hometown. Come on now, catch them diamonds. And it even goes on to say he's honored by everybody except for relatives in his own family. So what did that tell you? That's why I'm telling you, don't feel sad about any of that. Because what you're experiencing, Jesus already experienced it, but you will still be successful. You don't need what you think you need. Only thing you need is God. Don't let that be a reason why you give up on your dreams. Don't, don't let that be a reason why you give up in life. Feel sorry for yourself. Well, I ain't got the money. I ain't got the support. Well, you brainstorm until you get some money. Because I'm telling you, I am a witness. All you need is God. And get up on your feet. I'm trying to tell you because ain't nobody going to come like you think they're going to come for you. You got to believe in you. You got to believe in what you're doing. And that's real. I'm telling you something real today. You believe in yourself and what you're doing. And you go to God. And y'all will make it happen together. And listen, the truth of the matter is, you're going to have more people watching you climb your way to success than you have people who are pushing you up to success. That's just the way it is. That's just the way it's going to be. They're going to watch everything you're doing. You see what I'm saying? Before they come help you. And that is unfortunate, but that's the world we live in. Because a lot of times the people around us don't want to see us make it because they're intimidated by it or because they're trying to compete with it. You understand what I'm saying? They don't understand that God has a life for them too if they go after God. Come on. Catch them diamonds. You have a life too. But you're so busy being caught up in your jealous ways that you don't realize that you can have more. So you try to pull somebody else down from getting it. But it ain't going to work. Especially when God's hand is on it. Come on now. God's hand is on you. That's why you're going to prosper. You hear what I'm saying? You're going to prosper. And look, I just come to motivate you. Because I'm giving you what I did not have. You understand what I'm saying? I got the strength. I got the energy now. So I can give people what I didn't have, the motivation. I couldn't click on the internet back then and, and listen to somebody who motivates me that relates to my story. So that's why I'm giving it back. You will, you will make it with God. I'm telling you what I know because I'm doing it right now. That's why I'm giving it to you. You're going to make it. You don't need these people and you don't need to feel low about yourself. And so, and I'm going to keep it real with you. You have to stop making excuses on why you cannot overcome your challenges. Come on now. Once you get that in your mind, then no more excuses, no more games. Whatever it takes, I'm going to do it. Even if it starts that, start out with just writing it down. It starts there. Write it down. You know what I'm saying? Pray about it. Ask God to give you a strategy. Ask God to connect you with the people that's in, that's in alignment with what you're trying to do. My great-grandma told me this right here, and it stuck with me for, for all my life. She, she told me, she said, God will send the people to help you to do what you're trying to do. When she told me that when I was a teenager, it just it stuck here. Because I knew that's what she was supposed to be saying because that seed was being planted. It was what I needed to hear. Because God already knew that he knew his plans for my life, but I just didn't know it. So that was that motivation that I needed. So now I'm telling you, God will send you the people to help you do what you're trying to do. Yes, he will. But you got you to gotta kick start it. You got to jump it off first. You understand what I'm saying? You got to make whatever in your mind, you got to manifest it and make it and put it in the physical so people can see it. Because if they can see it, then they can help you. So when God is coming, when God line you up with the right people, you already have your, your project right there. 
waiting, waiting for somebody to help you, you know, take it to the next level. Because that's what God do. He will, he will, listen, you will be noticed and you will be seen. You just got to do your part in this season. You see what I'm saying? I just come to tell you that. You just got to do your part in this season. And don't feel sorry for yourself because Jesus went through the same thing in his hometown. They didn't even believe. That's why they don't see miracles. And that's the reason why people don't see miracles now because they don't believe. They don't believe. But you believe and that's why you're going to see miracles. My faith in God is so strong. That I know that the person or the people that need to see this, you will see it. And this will be your confirmation. And when it's your confirmation, you put confirmation on this video. Because I know it is confirmation. Because I know you're going through the same thing I went through years ago. Not knowing how I'm going to get out. Cannot see the light of day. But I promise you, this is your confirmation. I trust God and I have faith that this video will find you. Because you need it. Get up and stand. Work on your dreams. Go after it.